Is a normal BMI better than a high or low BMI? Yes. This is Healthcare Triage News. To the research. From The Lancet, Body Mass Index and All-Cause Mortality, Individual Participant Data Meta-Analysis of 239 Prospective Studies in Four Continents. You know there's a big obesity problem, right? Unfortunately, much of the research looking at the relationship between obesity and health outcomes is flawed. Some of it leads to surprising conclusions. For instance, a number of studies exist that show a somewhat protective effect of obesity on mortality. Of course, this could be reverse causality. Often, poor health leads to weight loss. Therefore, low BMI is sometimes a marker of poor health, not the cause. But observational studies can't always tease that out. This study used individual data on more than 10.6 million participants from 239 prospective studies from all over the world. Moreover, almost 4 million of the people were from 189 studies that looked at never smokers without chronic disease who lived at least five years. This allowed them to limit confounding and reverse causality. They looked at otherwise healthy people who weren't near death and who didn't smoke, which is also related to both obesity and illness in different ways, and since they had individual participant data, they could follow people prospectively over time. Let's start with a review of BMI. The body mass index is a measure of body fat that's calculated from height and weight. Normal weight is considered 18.5 to 25. Less than 18.5 is underweight. 25 up to 30 is considered overweight, and 30 or over is considered obese. BMI is not perfect. People are built differently, and it doesn't account for additional muscle mass. It's a rough estimate of fat, and we should treat it as such. That said, it's a widely used and validated marker in general. For people with a BMI from 20 to 25, all-cause mortality was minimal. Below that range, mortality jumped 13% for those with a BMI of 18.5 to 20, and 51% for those with a BMI of 15 to 18.5. Overweight was associated with increased mortality as well. Those with a BMI of 25 to 27.5, the low end of overweight, had a 7% increase in mortality. Those with a BMI of 27.5 to 30, the high end of overweight, had a 20% increase. And obesity wasn't good either. Grade 1 obesity, a BMI of 30 to 35, had a 45% increased mortality rate. Grade 2 obesity, a BMI of 35 to 40, had a 94% increased mortality rate. And grade 3 obesity, with a BMI of 40 to 60, had a 176% increased mortality rate. These relationships were seen all over the world. The association between increased BMI and increased mortality also appeared to be greater in younger people than older people, and greater in men than in women. If you search through the media, you can find articles that say that being overweight isn't bad for you, and that controversy exists over whether being overweight is better for you for some health metrics. This meta-analysis is pretty good evidence against that argument. The association between increased BMI or overweight and low BMI or underweight and increased mortality is pretty robust in many populations living on four different continents. Having a high or low BMI is not good for you. Healthcare Triage is supported in part by viewers like you through Patreon.com, a service that allows you to support the show through a monthly donation. We'd especially like to thank our research associate, Joe Sevitz, and our Surgeon Admiral, Sam. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Sam. More information can be found at patreon.com slash healthcaretriage.